Welcome back guys to my video on Scratch 0.4 It's been almost 3 weeks since my last video on Scratch 0.3 So let's just open it without further to do And it's also known as the 14th, 14th March 2005 update And it's not actually to com when comparing to previous versions there isn't much changes Like a major leap or something But yeah there are much little bit changes Let's notice it from uh, top to bottom briefly as usual and you can see that the menu text has been changed to an asterisk or an star and you can of course click on it to see the basic functions like importing the sprites and costumes and also start single stepping start single stepping is a new thing and you can of course shift shift click that shift click it as well like that you should shift press, press the shift in the keyboard and click on it to get this additional menu for showing the experimental blocks but for now let's hide it and that's quite similar to the previous version and then you can also notice that the prompts has been changed over here like save the current project let's just save it and give a file name you can see the prompt has been changed to a blue color theme more similar to the thing which is there now let's just name it to example so that we can see the what's happening over here you can see that the, it has saved a thumbnail along with the project name with the dot scratch extension and so let's just try out some other pop-up menus you can see it's more advanced than before and yeah you can also view it like it's there now in scratch but it's a separate thumbnail this time and we can also save it or save as in whatever folder you want and you can undo it but but it's still uh, having the bug or glitch and if you go slightly below the right and slight and further right you can notice there is not much change here's the normal arrow for moving and this is for duplicating let's just create one sprite using clicking this star and you can duplicate using this thing I think you should know these things already and you can of course delete it using the same thing your scissors and you can increase the size by this thing and decrease it by this thing I know that I should not explain it multiple times and it's like a loop but I just need to do it very briefly that's the thing and these things are there as usual and let's just go back to the block palette and you can see that the blocks are properly colored this time rather than the previous version which is not properly colored and was randomly colored based on the 0.2 coloring system I don't know if there was a coloring system or this they just choose it randomly and so you can also see that the most of the things over categories are same except this thing motion has been shifted from here to here and control from here to here motions has become the priority and yeah there's also an experimental clones in this version as well like the previous version let this show it here's the cloning blocks I don't know if I'm talking too fast for this time but it's just for reducing the time taken and I just hide it again and there's also an when start is clicked which is a new block before that we used to be using a broadcast receiver with a special broadcast known as go when this thing is pressed but this time there is a whole block for it when start is pressed it's quite similar to the green flag click yeah and let this keep a script so that you can see it's working on it's this is the first version to have this when the green flag is clicked before that it used to use an receiver which I already told again I'm saying it again and let's just go back to motion as we forgot to we skipped a thing you can see that there are additional 10 blocks over here which I just noticed but I just skipped it by mistake like setting the pen color and changing the pen color or the pen shade and so let's just check out some of, some of the more things you can see that these things are quite similar to the no changes there in these things this as well is same but I think it has the bug still so let's just not use it because it will just further make it lo more longer and there's experimental blocks here as well that also not work 
and there's a numbers as well and I don't know if absolute value is new maybe it is and yeah there are these basic sound blocks which is not changes also you can just show this experimental blocks that are start movie etc things but I didn't understand it much but I have tried to load a GIF it, it failed to work even in this version I think so but of course you can try also I'm not exactly keeping all the files from the real version I'm just pasting this one image file and using the same DLLs from the scratch 1.4 and it's still working but I don't know if it's the exactly same version so the sensing blocks are as well as same I just show the oh I mean I just show the experimental blocks by shift clicking on it and let's hide it this camera sensing blocks updated also let's just make a variable like that and also an more variable you can see that the global variable is light in color in purple color which is the new thing about this and there's no change in the stage monitor I think so as you can see over here they should have changed it but they just skipped it and let's just see some more things like paint editor now you can see the paint editor has not been improved at all and there's no blue UI thingy and the sound editor is the same case and let's check the menu more because I forgot to check it and as usual camera sensor doesn't work and you can also show the sensor board but I didn't use it you can just try it yourself maybe it needs a special DLL to work and then you can see that there's not much change in this version it's just a short version almost about an three weeks away from it, away from the previous version only so I don't think there are much changes but it's just released to public so I just consider this as 0 0.4 I know that there are missing versions but still it's okay maybe I'll re rename this video to something else in the future if there is a uh, special version found and that's it guys for this video and I hope to see you guys in the next video